All right, so let's first just kind of initial run, exercise those brain muscles. We're not gonna use it for training, but keep following along. All right. I've always been a creative person. Come on, boy. Who's ready? Okay, good boy. Up here, can I just... I do anything from Photoshopping to interior design. Art just came natural to me. But when I had the accident, everything changed instantly. It took a lot for me to come out of that depression. I just had to accept my new normal. How do you feel? I feel good. Thank you, guys. You're, you're welcome. All right, James, you ready? I'm all set. And I came across this program where your brain can interface with a computer. I'm just going to do a quick test. I didn't even hesitate. I said, sign me up. All right, so what we have here is our view into James's brain. Each one of those neurons is telling us something about what James wants or experiences in the world. And we can use that to train statistical models and allow his brain activity to drive motion of the cursor. I'm imagining following that cursor, kind of like a PlayStation controller. I think that I can control the computer, the cursor, just by thinking about it. It's mind blowing. But now I'm going to apply it to what I love to do in the most Photoshop. So right now I'm just going to do a simple blend of three different photos. We're going to put her face in the background, get like a soft brush that allows me to fade and make my brush a little bigger. I'm just going to fade. We need to create a new Bob Ross series with you in Photoshop. <laughs> Art is something that I can do that belongs to me. It gives me control over something that's just me. I don't need assistance. I don't need someone to hold a spoon and feed me. Art allows me to have an identity again. Well, Black Rock's technology has given me hope. It gave me hope that someday I will be able to interface with not just the computer, but my environment. So the sky's the limit with things that I could create. <laughs>